Okay, good morning, everybody. Okay, we're gonna do the the fight prediction for the Jamel fight for the second fight. Okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, all right. Now I seen the scorecards. I seen the scorecards. The score. The, almost every scorecard was wrong. Almost every single one was wrong. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like you know, and um, <clears throat> they one scorecard had Jamel win nine rounds. I'm like. How the fuck did he win nine rounds? He did not win nine rounds. He won seven. Then win, then win, then win eight. Then win nine. Then win ten. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, but anyway, that's done already. Y'all already seen the fix. Remember, every time there's a fight, there's a fix in that fight. There's a fix in that fight because of the gambling. Remember that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody that bet for knockouts, I seen a couple of boxing channels betting for knockout. Everybody that betted for knockouts or uh, or anything else like that, stoppages, they all lost their money. And if you didn't bet, put it like this. If you didn't bet for a draw, a split draw, something like that, draw, your ass lost your money. You know what I'm saying? So you could imagine how many people lost their money yesterday. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, and I didn't even get into my comments here. I know there's going to be a bunch of losers in there trying to vent out the anger on my channel. Well... Guess what? I'm gonna just go like this, slap them around in the comments. They're gonna get slapped around after I'm done with this with this video. Like you know what I'm saying? So you know. So okay. Now we already know that um that Castano cannot knock out Jamel, and this is fact. He cannot knock him out. Jamel could take his power. You know what I'm saying? Two. We already know Jamel could stop him. Jamel can stop him. Jamel still hurt him with those gloves. Didn't I tell you in the video? That those gloves, they could get more padding in the glove. He's still going to hurt him. And I was right. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm taking Jamel again. I'm taking Jamel again. And this time, I'm taking Jamel by stoppage. Because he could stop him. And he could hurt him, too. So, you know what I'm saying? So, don't be surprised. Jamel comes in a little bit more sharper. And then the second fight, and he hits him the right way. And then you call it an early night. Now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, um... So y'all yeah, Castano people could come. Y'all could, yeah, could come over here lying all you want. Y'all yeah, could come over here lying all you want on this fight prediction. Jamel hurt him three times. Y'all seen the fights. Y'all delusional bastards. Y'all seen the fight. I know y'all was fucking, y'all was fucking, y'all was scared to death that he was going to get stopped. I know that y'all was like, oh my God, he hurt him. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Y'all seen him hurt him. And I'm saying, so don't come in here acting like he was never hurt. He was hurt a couple of times in that fight. Like, you know, that's why I believe Jamel should have got the win. Two, he had more titles than him. He had way more titles than him. Remember. Remember that. If the fight is close, if the fight is close, they're supposed to give it to the, to the, to the, to the you know, to, to the champion that has the most belts. You know what I'm saying? They didn't put it like this. They didn't follow no rules at all in that scorecards. They didn't follow no rules whatsoever. The fix was in the judges. The judges was the fix. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, always. Like, always. They're the fix, always. You know what I'm saying? They made it into a draw. Made all of y'all lose your money. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all venting out your anger on these boxing channels. You need to fucking go to the judges. You need to take your losing ass to the judges and complain to them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm taking Jamel by stoppage in this fight. I took him by stoppage in the first one. Castano got away. Castano got away in that one. And the second one, I don't think he's getting away on that one. Like, believe me, he's not going to get away on that one. You know, Jamel had perfectly understands now that he needs to stop him to get that win. Like, they cannot leave it on the judges' cards. Cannot leave it on the judges' cards. Understand that. Just like Castano. Castano didn't, didn't stop Jamel. He didn't stop Jamel. He, he, he let it go to a decision. And look what happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Both sides ended up losing here. Both sides ended up losing, even though it was a draw and they both won. But they both actually lost. Because Castano didn't finish the fight. He lost his last three rounds. He lost his last three rounds. He did not close out the fight. Jamel did. He was supposed to got he was supposed to have got that. Got that got those titles. Understand that. He won by seven rounds. I scored the fight when the fight was, as the fight was progressing. I know what I'm looking for. Y'all don't. 
Like, understand that. I will never come in here in this channel and tell you he won by seven if I didn't know he I don't I don't make up shit. I know how to score. I've been in I've been in boxing for 44 years. I understand what they're doing. Like as far as the judges. Like you know what I'm saying? So you know, it's gonna stop on the second fight. I don't see I don't see I don't see that fight going to a scorecards. They both gonna end up fighting in, until somebody drops. I understand that. So which is gonna make the fight a little bit better, but it's gonna make the fight a lot more dangerous. And that's what I don't like. It's gonna make the fight more dangerous because somebody has to get stopped. I just hope it's a stoppage. I hope it's not a flat line with both of them. I hope it's not a flat line. Like, remember I told you, you get flatlined, your career is over. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already told you, Castano doesn't belong in that weight class. And it's showing, it's showing in these fights. In one fight, he got knocked on his ass. He got knocked on his fat, on his ass. And that was a tomato can that put him on the floor. It was a tomato can that put him on the floor on that one. Jamel fucking hurt him three different times in the fight. Understand that? And he punched him up here. He didn't punch him here. He punched him up here and he hurt him. Like he doesn't, he doesn't belong there. Sooner or later, one of these fighters is going to stop him. Remember I told you that. Like you know what I'm saying? So I'm going with Jamel all the way on this. He's going to have the better chance to win the fight. Like you know what I'm saying? And I give good luck to Castano. But in the second fight, I believe Jamel is going to prepare him better. He's going to prepare him better. The fucking trainer better teach him how to use these uppercuts and you how to fucking do body punching. He could have won the fight if he would have body punched him and uppercut him. Like, you know what I'm saying? But y'all see the fix, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you like the video, put a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, put a thumbs down and go ahead. Come in here. I want that smoke with y'all. I want that smoke with y'all with this video. I, I, I don't have to deal with your, your assholes on this on, on this other shit. As soon as I see a bad comment, I'm deleting that shit. You ain't gonna none of your none of your shit is gonna show in there. Like you know what I'm saying? So thumbs up, thumbs down, don't forget to subscribe.